last delivery was really nice. It was only like a quarter mile from 7-Eleven. Seven Mike's Hard Lemonades at 7.30 in the morning. Okay, it was a wheelchair guy. He was nice. Um, now we're going to Donut Taco Palace to get 11 items for this next customer. I think it said 650 or something. It's not amazing, but we're just gonna go ahead and knock this out. And we just need one more to put us over 20. And I'll consider that a solid start to the day. awkward when they send you right back to the same restaurant you just delivered from so we're back at Ruby's again this one's eight dollars for four miles pretty solid Take a picture on your phone and leave. Here's Q2, the soccer stadium. This is Austin's only professional sports team. We got another pickup from Total Wine. This one's paying $10, and it took me less than 10 minutes. Or like a mile and a half, I think. Let's do this. So it's 11.40 right now. I have made roughly 110 bucks. It's very, very slow today. Incredibly slow. 
Um, I just had to use my first decline on DoorDash. It was like $7 for 14 miles. I'm not doing that. So they gave me an offer right now. It's $4 for a mile. That's fine. We'll do it. Now, ordinarily, I want to make more than $5 a month, but this was really close to the restaurant. I think today, since it's so slow, I want to just make 150 bucks. That'll put me at 1200 bucks in the week, which I'm happy with. And more than likely, I'm taking tomorrow off. Uh, if you do delivery, really if you do any job, I, I think it's good for mental health to have at least one day off a week. I'm sort of a workaholic. I enjoy working. I like making money. And, you know, I could totally make 1500 bucks a week if I wanted no problem but just for uh, mental health and physical well-being um, I like to give myself a day off so that's gonna be the plan I think we're just gonna try to get to 150 today and go home early We got an Instacart order that I accepted. It's $23 for nine miles. I got a shop at this liquor store here off of Far West Boulevard. Uh, this is really nice because this will, I think, put me close to 150. And yeah, it is taking me to like East Austin, but this is worth it anyways. I'm, I'm happy with this. So. After this is done, we'll see, like maybe I'll try to grind to 200 because it's only 1223 right now. I could totally stay out a couple more hours and, and try to hit 200 bucks today, but we'll see. Here's what the order looks like. So that was eventful. I am leaving downtown. I had to do three declines in a row, three awful orders first one was like 650 for five miles and then next one was a stack from target where you have to pay to park at otherwise the meter maid will get you with a parking ticket uh i literally had to, i literally had to pay seven dollars to park there to shop one time in their garage luckily it was a good order but yeah i'm not paying seven dollars to shop for two customers for $8. And they gave me the exact same offer 30 seconds later. Good job, DoorDash. This is my phone right now. Look what time it is. Five, 5.59 on a Saturday night. Map is completely pink besides a couple areas that like no one lives in, no one dashes in, like Kyle, or way west Austin. Look at this. Completely pink. I'm platinum, so I have dash anytime. So that's when you know it's dead. Like, for whatever reason in Austin, no one orders for the dinner shift. No one orders. No one. It's decently busy for lunches. Breakfast is pretty slow, but no one orders for dinner time. I don't know if it's just an issue of oversaturation. I don't know. I don't know. That's just my reality. That's that's why I had to adapt and switch up the program. Otherwise, there's no way I could live off my income doing this full time. So I did 114 on Instacart, 166 on Zifty Catering, Uber Eats is 214, and the largest amount was with DoorDash 672. And I had a lot of 
that up and it's 1257, including deliver that and a Grubhub order. Thanks for watching.